Greetings, Benjamin J. the Victrola Guy with another in the series. Well, this is our second test on this extra heavy duty aluminum foil with the adhesive on the back of it. Uh, I've increased the depth of cut slightly and I just want to see what uh, a difference it's going to make and uh, basically I'm trying to make a good loud recording. Now, it was surprising that this worked as well. It doesn't work anything like this without the adhesive. The adhesive changed everything about this foil as far as its uh, recording abilities. Really, really interesting how that works. In any case, uh, I'm going to do a uh, recording. This is the second recording on the extra heavy duty aluminum foil with uh, acid free glue applied to the back of it. I've increased the depth of cut. I'm going to do a recording and see what happens. Hello, hello, hello! Mary had a little lamb. Its fleece was white as snow. And everywhere that Mary went, the lamb was sure to go. Ha, ha, ha! Okay, so this is the second test on extra heavy duty aluminum foil with the acid-free adhesive, this is just an acid-free glue stick that I'm using, on the back of this foil. And it really affected how it works. Okay, so here's the second test on aluminum foil. Well, wow. that sounds almost like a cylinder. Hmm. That was a decent recording. Not the loudest one I've ever made, but that is a decent recording. On plain old aluminum foil, extra heavy duty aluminum foil, with an adhesive applied to the back of it. Wow, that's really interesting that the adhesive would make that much of a difference. It could be that an adhesive on the back of any foil would make a difference, but it definitely uh, made a, a good recording, whereas aluminum foil usually can't compare with copper, but this is quieter than copper, and it was clear and bright and uh, sharp really defined. So that's, again, that's really interesting. So I just wanted to document the experiment. Uh, as I said, you never know what's going to happen until you make an experiment or until you do an experiment. And this was surprising. Uh, greatly improved just by adding that adhesive to the back of this kitchen foil. So uh, just wanted to document the, <coughs> document the experiment. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to drop me an email. The Victrola guy at gmail.com. And as always, thank you for watching.